working on they it, okay? Work. Yes, they, they separated at the time, but they say they're working on it. And we're working on a great meal, grits, with, with a kick. Yes, with a kick, for sure, a little spice to it. There you yeah. go, we have Chef Dean Max from uh, Asador in the Renaissance Dallas Hotel. That's right. All right, so what are we cooking? Well, we're cooking grits. Sounds simple, right? Everybody's cooked grits. Yeah. The difference with the difference, what you're looking for um, with a grit is everybody gets kind of, they get lazy and they buy the instant grits, already kind of been pre-cooked, right? And it doesn't work the same that way. You're okay. not going to get the flavor out of it. So, you know, one of the other concerns right now, too, is all the, you know, the corn, you know, corn... Because that's what grit is. Some people don't okay. know that grits is corn. Polenta is the same thing. It's just so a little finer. This, then, if this, this we got from a, we got this from an organic grist mill down in Waco oh, that wow. we use, right? And the the key is organic. You don't want like the GMO corn. So okay. um, this corn is a lot healthier for you. And w what happens is these kind of old grist mills like that. What they do is they give you a really fine grit of the corn mm -hmm. as well as a powderiness to it as well. You can see. So when you cook the grit, it has a lot of different subtleties to it. You've got this this powdery creaminess that it adds. You get the grit feel, so you have a little bite left. So you can tell the difference. Right. Mm -hmm. The only problem is you've got to cook this for about about 30 minutes um, with water. So okay. what we do is we cook it for 30 minutes with water. And what, you, what I always suggest for people is cook the grits like this, right, and make a little bit larger amount. And then you can stick it uh, in kind of a, a dish to cool. Once it cools, you can actually block, cut it up in blocks and wow. wrap it and put it in the freezer. Okay, then later what you do is you pop that out, thaw it out, and you stick it in here in your pot, and then what you do is you cook it down. Now, it only has water in it at that time, so there's nothing to really, if you're not putting oils in there to break down. We've got to spice it up because we've got about a minute and a half a to A minute and a half. Here. Well, we're doing a natural chorizo, so we're going to take a little coriander, pork sausage. You can just buy pork sausage and okay. pour it out. We've got a little bit of peppers, fennel, garlic. We're going to put all these spices in, mix this up. Then what we do is cook it down, and this is what we get, right? So it's a, like when you're making taco night at home, right? Yeah. So it's just, we have the recipe on the website, so you guys can check that out and try to make it. We add that. We add, of course, some great things like butter, right? We add a little bit of creme fraiche. And then we add some chives at the end. And then I'm going to put a dry cheese. You can use like a Parmesan. We use like a Texas-aged uh, cow's milk cheese. And we just put that in. Whoop. And then that's it. Now, we've got a farm dinner tonight where we host a lot of our special kind of farmers who do this kind of stuff, all of our local ingredients, you know, from our, um, from our cheese producers okay. to our grits producers to our, um, our people who do a lot, a lot of our produce. Okay. Here's some produce that we, that we have. We've got a beautiful, um, oh, like, fall, these are fall uh, squash in the zucchini family, oh, right? Wow. And then what we do is we roast that a little bit, and then we put this inside, and we serve our grits inside of a roasted oh, squash like this. And then we'll be doing that tonight. Our farm dinner starts at um, 7 o'clock, $50. We have a few seats left, so if people are interested. Great. And we've got okay. the recipe as well as a link to the, uh, the Renaissance Hotel, Asador, uh, on myfox.com. Thanks it. a bunch. Thank you very much.